Today we'll talk about Alex Becker not pumping our bags this weekend. Maybe he will do the next one. Bitcoin frogs, overall correction on the market, different ordinals on different chains, and Bell's blockchain, the original first project of Dogecoin founder. Hi guys, so let's start with VPP in Polker. As we see, they're tanking a bit. And yesterday was kind of like a very bad day for me in terms of trying to fight my emotions and things like that, which I thought was kind of interesting because I, I was not essentially feeling them for quite some time. I had different urges to sell and things like that, but still I'm holding. So these are the current holdings at this stage. The narrative here is obviously the backers video. And even if not that, there is a high chance that we should see the PAM to 48 uh, Southern to USD Bitcoin. And there are a lot of players on the marketplace that are not deployed like at all, or maybe they're deployed for 10% currently. And the interesting thing is to try to cause FOMO in them. So they would eventually deploy and then crush the whole thing. And obviously we have of this positive event as everyone thinks as ETF being approved. On other end, due to the ordinals and things like that, mining is very, very profitable currently. And miners, they're doing like just crazy commissions when they're mining Bitcoin. And one of the narrative that's there is that they obviously know once we would see the halving, they will make less money. And the idea is that they would try to sell out as much Bitcoin as they can currently to make these operations profitable for them because they're planning long term. So for example, they have to sell currently to have funds for upcoming 1.5 two years in terms of money and things like that because it's not always profitable it's profitable in in these type of periods where they they, they then uh, capitalize on which is quite interesting so gambling is he is still huge is still a narrative although i see some people taking profits and a lot of people they're essentially talking about that on the marketplace as well i'm just following my initial strategy i hold the coins i hold the tokens and i will be buying more once we see the dip That's the strategy that I have because I'm not a trader, I'm not a technical analyst, I have cash flow, so I would just be entering funds into the market and see how it will play out by the end of 2024, 2025. Interesting things are happening with Bitcoin frogs. Um, so I was buying one at uh, 0 0.13 around a week or two weeks ago. There was a video on the channel and currently it's about, it's at uh, 0 0.4. It's, it's basically, it's currently like the largest market cap collection on ordinals right now because we have other things, but but due to the fact that there are 10,000 of Bitcoin frogs, this floor is just crazy because it's like, it's like what? It's like 20K frog right now. I was buying at 5.8 or at 6K. So this is quite interesting. In terms of the value that is provided in this community, I feel like it's more focused on NFTs and it's more focused on minting. So I don't see a lot of calls like, hey, this token is dead for some time. Let's put 10K in. One of the reasons I think that's happened is because most people in the community, it's, it's first money for them. They don't want to sell the frogs. They don't have a lot of cash. They don't have cash flows. Essentially in common on a monthly basis in nice chunks and things like that. So that's why they're still focusing on free stuff and things like that. So this is the amount of value that I'm missing from this community in terms of ordinals. And this is something that I heard just by Twitter posts that uh, these guys are doing. So this community is way lower market cap. However, the floor is um, around one Bitcoin. And the reason for that is because the supply here is only 100. And I know some people people that actually bought into this. So I would probably be looking to get one once we see a correction. So just yesterday, people were buying it at like 0 0.35, which is quite interesting. And it was only two listings yesterday. And currently we have a bunch of listings. And the main reason for that is obviously there are still some people that own uh, multiple uh, NFTs. And even it says 87 owners, it could be more, just, it could be just one guy and having NFTs on different wallets. So I'm looking for alpha where I would not be only making money on NFTs, but on buying tokens and buying tokens preferably from like DEXs and things like that because these illiquid chunks of NFTs they kind of w worry me because I can't be very liquid with them so it's, it's still kind of like NFTs and things like that so I, I more like you know undervalued stuff in tokens that I can place limit orders on that I can buy that, that I can sell take my initials out and things like that currently in terms of the value that I'm getting in Bitcoin frogs it's it's more on the NFTs and it's more on the minting side we'll see that's the reason why basically this community surged in the first place but I think it's currently just a culture thing they're very cute they're very interesting these frogs and as mentioned I think they will flip autumn highs of uh, bored apes and they would essentially be bored apes and yeah I, I do definitely think it is, is going to cost the floor is going to be multi-bitcoin in the pool and I'm talking about bitcoin once it would be like 
like 100 and 150k. So I would be planning to exit my frog at around 500k to a million. We'll see how it like if this would happen. And I would be planning to scoop some more on uh, on the dip on the correction because I understand it. So I understand it now. I see the community. I know what to expect. And one of these things as well, because yeah, it's always great to be in a community with people that are actively making money and things like that. And I think we're still in the process of redistribution from like people uh, that don't have money or maybe basically just made the money on the frogs like the first time to people who are buying them that see the potential that plan to resell them higher and the same time they plan to provide value in the community because for example one of the tokens that were discussing that i was discussing yesterday which is bells people in bitcoin frogs they were not talking about it and uh, one guy he basically bought bells two days before me and i asked him why and and uh, how he did that and he's the member of bitcoin frogs he mentioned that in a different community people were discussing it and the community is honey badger yeah so i think this one and floor here zero zero seven right so it's crazy because guy got 12x on bells blockchain and people were discussing it in this community with, with with this type of floor and in bitcoin frogs it's it's all day about nfts and and minting and things like that so i don't see much things happening like guys let's put 10 15 20k in this token let's see what happens it's mostly about free mints and things like that but it's still nice it's still nice and i think it's going to be huge and i think once the change in terms of the players and members of the community will happen it will definitely be even more valuable although it's pretty available at this stage already because i get to know about different originals means i minted zero i i was meeting some things on uh, stacks 20 today unfortunately i missed the whole mint but i will tell about it a bit later as well so originals are doing pretty well i think there is a question i have i don't know like if anyone can help can help me in the comments because i bought fuck it we bark i think a couple of days ago and i see here change in 26 percent so i was buying in 7 million market cap currently it's 4.8 so it's almost two x down for me although on coin ranking i see that it's done like a six x in in 24 hours yeah i don't understand like what token i bought what token is this one what's happening i don't understand it at all like i would i would be checking it out i would probably be asking in bitcoin frogs and asking around the community as well it's just very very crazy and very interesting to me why something like this is happening because I kind of opened this in the first place I was wow like I did a 4x a 6x and here it's down 2x so it's not it's not a bad uh, it's it's not a good uh, transition of emotions I would say so yesterday something big also happened if you know stacks which is one of the bitcoin I think standards as well I was not diving in it uh, too much they had first ordinals launch which is uh, stacks 20 and um, yeah unfortunately the launch started I think they announced that it will happen at 12 p.m. Dubai time, um, so 00 a.m. I, I wanted to go to sleep. So I, I thought I will wake up and I will be, I, I will be able to mint. And I thought that they will definitely delay because everything is encrypted. It's usually delayed. So the actual minting started, I think, at 1.30 I am in the night. I was asleep already. And the whole mint, I think, ended in like two hours. This thing, I think, would be huge. So I think it is definitely like free money. And interesting thing is that there are more people already kind of joining the whole space and participating in this type of means already because uh, there are bots already and things like that there are some gas wars too so it's kind of turning into this like early ETH type of narrative where everything was just minting at a very you know like high gas fees and then and, and things like that and when with bots and then things like that so yeah i don't like it much because i kind of feel that i've missed out and and things like that because as i i, I missed the time where i was able to participate in these things freely and things that i'm minting currently they don't seem like too valuable so i was minting chronos blockchain i have quite quite a few of Kronos uh, blockchain first ordinals, but we'll see how it will basically do. And as mentioned, one of the previous video, I also bought 12.5k USD worth of light, which is uh, first ordinals on Litecoin. The issue is also, you know, one of the guys in Bitcoin Frogs is saying that the light on Gate.io is not confirmed that this is the light that was minted in the first place. I see the correlation in between the price that they have and Chinese guys, if you would check, uh, they basically mentioned Gate.io as well in terms of the the shilling that is happening however yeah it's a risky play but as we all know there is no profit without risks yeah this it's like it's like from so in terms of i, I was buying it actually 006 so i kind of bought at the top currently it's at 
45 so it's already 25 percent down for me but i would probably hold as i do believe that we, we should see a pump to 48k which would be blow off top and yeah interesting that Chinese community start to pick up Bells. So Bells is a custom project like a blockchain that is the first original project of uh, Dogecoin founder. So he wanted to do Bells, then something did not work out. So he created Dogecoin. And at the same time, basically the founder of Dogecoin, he was in the in the Discord of Bells yesterday. So they have it recorded somewhere here. I only bought uh, 6K worth of it. I was buying at $3. Currently, it's sitting at 4.5. So it's already 50% up from what I've bought at. And yeah, I, I would be looking to take my initials out at $8 and then just let it uh, basically be because I think it's huge. I think it's, it's, it's a very good narrative. It's the first project of Dogecoin founder. They already implemented some things that you can, you can buy it, I think, in one of the exchanges as well. I was, I was, I was checking it out. So that there is none. KYC exchange where uh, you, you you can buy it and the the exchange is called like non KYC like like this and at the same time I think that they've already put it on some of the um, exchange for ordinals the issue is that the wallet for this thing is not very convenient it's it's not like a Chrome extension it's only on Windows currently so I'm holding all my tokens on the exchange and it's kind of a shady exchange it doesn't have like a lot of volumes and things like that but I think like this bells thing might be there like that direction to to, to go up and things like that so people are mining it already but mining became hard so it's only um, you could only be able to mine it using ASICs from Bitcoin at this stage so yeah I think this thing might be huge might be my best bet so as you see I'm doing like different bets and different spaces in terms of ordinals and kind of this narrative is playing out where I was saying that what if Bitcoin would search and I would want to get a Bitcoin frog as a hedge against my portfolio not being exposed to Bitcoin ecosystem so and the idea uh, in my case is that I got this Bitcoin frog and I think over time I would be able to capitalize on this because I would be able to get more and more value from people who are active in the ordinals and BTC and, and, and BRC space and BTC space, bitmaps and things like that. And obviously it's not catching the whole value on the market that is happening currently. So that's why I would be planning to probably get into some more communities. So there is a guy Drake on digital who I was watching as well and I I got to, to know about LTC20 from him so I didn't capitalize on LTC20 yet but um, yeah I would probably be looking to enter his uh, private discord as well as as one thing and I would also would want to get penguins because I think they will increase the value in value and essentially this would be a nice buy so I won't be probably buying currently because following these listings it's 21% listed which is huge for the collection so it means there are a lot of people still looking to sell this out and things like that so that that might be the fact that they're not seeing enough enough of value for or 30k and probably like these were people who were minting so they also don't have a lot of money it's 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 huge amount of money for them and things like that and on the correction they will be putting lower funds lower amounts because no one is actually buying these prices as you can see 11 hours ago the guy bought at uh, 0 0.45 I, I don't think that people will be buying at these prices so yeah I'm definitely looking forward to entering more communities where there are people with funds and they invest in different tokens as well and they are capitalizing on this so this is it for now from my end. Please let me know in the comments your feedback. If you know what's the issue with this token, why it says I, I made a 5x and here is just 2x down, I would be very curious to figure out. And thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.